Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am the Inconsequential Runner and this is my update on the Essex Super Blast 2. Forgive me for how I look, I've just come in from a run. Usually I prep my videos a little bit better than this, but because this shoe is so good, let's get to the crunch right off the bat because it's so good, I thought I'd just shoot this video hot from the run. And it's a little bit wet outside, a little bit of rain, so I was able to test the grip. Okay, let's start, not with the specs, there's heaps of other videos that will cover the specs for the shoe, which will be released tomorrow, um, as you see this video, July the 5th. So there's a lot of other videos that cover the specs, and, and the foams and all of that, I'll do that high level, but let's get into the real core stuff. The questions you want answered, especially if you have bought the Super Blast 1 and you're thinking about the Super Blast 2, or you missed out on the Super Blast 1, because by and large it sold out worldwide, it became very hard to get very quickly and whether you should get into the Super Blast 2. And we'll work our way backwards from that. So let's start with the big stuff first. No running shots, um, no filler. Let's get into it right now. Here we go. This is the big question. If you are Super Blast 1 lover, you love that shoe, and I do, massive fan, will you love the Super Blast 2? Yes, you will. Um, it is a fantastic shoe. This shoe, is even a step up on the Super Blast 1. This shoe, the reason why it's so good, there's a number of reasons. First reason, it is a shoe rotation killer. If I was to only have one shoe that I could choose, and that would just be my shoe, that would have been the Super Blast 1. Then this came along. Super Blast 2 is now my number one shoe. So out of all the shoes I've ever used in my whole life, and we're talking plus 100, plus 100 pair of shoes, or 100 plus, maybe I word it that way. Um, these two the Super Blasts take the top two ranking points. Just brilliant shoe. Okay, so what's the point of difference between this and the Super Blast 1 in terms of feel? Firstly, out of the box, it feels better. Now, that's not important to me. I don't mind wearing a shoe in a little bit. Um, you know, the first 100 Ks and then it comes right. But out of the box, it feels better underfoot. It feels softer, but don't think of that as spongier because it's giving me, I'm not going to say it's more responsive, though I think it is. But what I'm going to say is this, it gives more punch. What I find is, the speed I run in this shoe, or my perceived speed, relative to the Super Blast 1, this one is faster. I'm getting a little bit more punch out underfoot. So even though it feels softer, and you think, okay, that might dampen things a little, little bit, there's a punch coming. Now, of course, the foams are different in the shoe. You've got the Flight Foam Blast Plus Eco, and instead of the Flight Foam Turbo, you've got the Flight Foam Turbo Plus. Same layout and configuration with the turbo up the top and the blast down the bottom and it looks to be the same proportions but these foams are even better. I'll leave you to go to the other videos to find out about the upper. It is more breathable. That's all I need to share with you. The colorway. What do you think? What do you think? I've fallen in love with it. Yellow and, and it's kind of like a peachy sort of color. Um, it works, and a bluey grey sort of upper, upper's great, it's breathable, the way it sits on the foot is great, I did find my heel a little bit, just a little bit, nothing like an Invincible 3 or anything like that, sort of moved around a little, but that was only for the first 5k, it settled down, I've put about 20 kilometres into these shoes, I will um, shortly do a 100k review and do something more substantive, okay. So that's the upper, that's the midsole, feels more punchy, but feels softer at the same time, takes better care of my joints. I don't usually run shoes back to back in terms of subsequent days. I did with the shoe because I wanted to get in some pretty substantive 
testing before I made this video. But what I can say is in the subsequent days, still worked a peach. It, it didn't have any overhang from the day before where it felt like the foams were still sort of coming back into shape or, or something like that. It felt great. Now, the outsole. Outsole on the Super Blast 1 was no problems. We all know, maybe, maybe we all know about the Nova Blast 3 when that first came out. A little bit squirrely on a damp surface. And when I say a little bit, I mean a lot. This thing, and as I said at the start, um, came in from rain, uh, uh, from a rainy run. And I ran over um, metal surfaces with this. So, and they even felt good underfoot. Now I didn't push them and test them too much. Why would you, right? You're running on a wet metal surface, um, a cover and uh, you wouldn't push it to see what the grip is like, but I had no issues on the concrete, which is where you're gonna do most of your running in the wet, fantastic. The outsole though is a little bit more noisier. It is not noisy, but it is a little bit noisier than the, um, than the Super Blast one. Look, I'm not doing this shoe a, a great service, I, I think. Oh, maybe I am, maybe I am. But I answered the big question right at the start, and that is, if you're a Super Blast 1 lover, would you buy another one? Or should you buy the Super Blast 2? Absolutely. I've got 600 kilometers in my Super Blast 1. I will still use that. It's got heaps to go. I'm expecting a long life out of this one too. These two shoes, as I say, are going to be rotation killers. Outside of these, maybe I take the Nimbus out if my legs feel really soft and I want to make sure that I'm running really slow because these... These um, get me moving along a little bit faster than I should be, actually. Um, part of that's probably excitement. But something like your Nike Invincible or your um, Nimbus, Essex Nimbus, um, for those of you that are into the Triumph, that sort of thing for your really easy runs where you just want to keep it slow and let your legs recover, great. Anything from the next level up in terms of just your, your daily run, um, all the way through to tempo, this sort of thing, perfect. And as I said in my Super Blast 1 video, if I turned up on race day and I forgot my race shoes and I had this, I would be fine. I wouldn't quibble about it. Hasn't got a plate in it, doesn't need a plate for the type of shoe it is. What else can I tell you? If you've got any questions, throw them in the comments below. This thing is an absolute winner. It felt so good to run in. It was the true definition of fun. It's a great shoe. Uh, I'm really well done. Essex, you nailed it with the Super Blast 1. The Super Blast 2 is even better. And um, I, let me leave you with this thought. I was thinking, Essex, whatever you do, don't release the Super Blast 3. Just stick with this at least for the next two years. Don't mess with anything. It is that good. Now, of course, you've got to trust them to do you know, better things, because they did that to the Super Blast 1. Everybody was worried that the Super Blast 2 was going to be over-engineered or it was going to overreach and end up overreaching into trying to make it better, end up being a worse shoe. It is not. It is better again. It is fantastic. So, Super Blast 2. Any questions? There's a lot I haven't covered. Throw them in the, quest, um, in the comments below and I will answer them. But if you've owned the Super Blast 1 or you missed out on the Super Blast 1 and you're thinking you regret it, you probably did miss out. Super Blast 2 is your opportunity. This video by and large is for the Super Blast 1 owners because this shoe will sell out. So if you're a Super Blast 1 owner and you want to know whether to buy this one, do it because it will sell out again, I'm sure of it, unless Essex like double their production. Be careful about buying things online. I've released a video, um, oh, maybe about a week back in terms of how to tell the difference between a Super Blast and the counterfeit that comes out. The key thing is don't buy anything online unless someone sends you photographic proof of what that shoe they're selling you is. That's one of the key differences. The um, counterfeit shoes are much heavier. Okay, that's it. Stick away from that. Buy it from a reputable retailer, one that you trust and you want to support. Super Blast 2. What a fantastic shoe. Inconsequential runner. Over and out. Take care. Bye.